we're doing. Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you. We'll draw your peg for you and give you the chocolate. This is the lovely Noli, ladies Hi, and gentlemen. Everybody. Keeping us all safe, Just aren't you? Hello, <laughs> Norwich. Hello, Norwich. I'm drawn. Today is that's a 15 Adams. 15 Adams. Down there, that tree is. Good morning, fisher people. I'm Alan Norrish from Fish on TV, and today is Sunday, the 27th of December, and I am here at the wonderful Hayfield Lakes. And as you've just seen, I have drawn Adams 15. And believe it or not, I've got the wind in my face today, and it's freezing. It ain't going to get above four degrees. That's maximum. There's a breeze. It's straight in my face. I just know <laughs> there's absolutely zero chance of winning match from there. Zero. I'm next to Archie again. I think I fished. I think he was a couple of pegs down from me last week. The only thing I can probably hope for today is a section win. But with wind in your face, if I wouldn't be at this end of the lake if I was a fish, I would be at the other end of the lake where it's sheltered and probably a degree or so warmer. So. <laughs> I'm a little bit, oh, you know, when you just go, oh, no. Peg 15, it can be a great area, don't get me wrong. Not so much, I'm, not, I'm not so sure at this time of year. I know there were a guy, I've just been talking to, to a guy, he drew peg 14, and he said he had three bites all day, and they weren't even big carp. They were, they were just smaller fish. Robin fished this side last week. And he had a three pound. He didn't have a bite for about three hours, they were telling me. So uh, I think he did three pound of fish. I think 25 won the In fact, yes, 25 actually was the best weight on this lake with the wind behind him. He beat me for the section last week. He was in the favoured pegs at 33 or 32 around that area, which is the best side, wind behind. So again, I'm, it's going to be, I'm going to have a chapped cold face. It's going to be bloody hard work but it's made my mind i'm going to keep it dead simple it's just going to be a bomb a hybrid might see how strong the wind is but for a pellet uh pellet waggler cast as as far as i can get the pellets really to that's pretty much it i'm not even sure i'm going to do that but it can work a, a suspended bait like i did at bank end the other week at about seven or eight feet can work here but I don't really fancy it with the wind in my face, but we shall see how strong that wind gets to see if it's worth actually doing so. It's going to be an absolutely dead simple approach. I may set the waggler up. If I've got loads of room to my right, I'm not going to even set a margin rig up uh, for this side. I've not seen many people at all catching in this carp league. Again, I forgot to say, it is the carp qualification round again. So you've got to win. I've got to win this lake, the whole of Adams, which is Little Adams and Big Adams. And I just can't see it happening from where I am. So basically, it's just my section I'm trying to, trying to win today. So I might set the waggler up with some maggots to cast away from myself rather than with a pole wafting over this clear water, see if there are any fish down there. Don't know yet. We'll see it. When I get to my peg, I'll have a look and see what I fancy. But I think it really is going to be a game of patience. Hope that something that I drop on some fish. I mean, there are plenty of fish in here. I just don't fancy it from this side with the wind in my face. They do not follow the wind in winter. It's it's the opposite way around. So a little bit disheartened with me draw but you can only do your best it's a day's fishing let's hope i can try and win me section i've had two seconds in section i shall do my damnedest today it's a day's fishing and as you know i will love it anyway well i mean peg 15 the wind's stopped so it's not too bad at the minute but i know it's supposed to get to about 15 mile an hour so i'll let you have a quick look at peg 15. So I've got an angler one, two, three pegs down. He's on 18, is it? Yeah, 18. So we've got quite a bit of room here. I don't think you can see the aerator out there in the middle. I'm going to fire a bomb out there just short of that and have a look round there with a bomb and wafter or 
something like that. Just have a little look around, see if there's any liners or anything. But I'm eventually, I mean, I am clicked up with the um, banjo, Judo banjo feeder there as well. I'm going to be firing pellets in this area here, sort of about 20 meters with the 20 to 25 meters with the pellet waggler and a few 8 mil pellets with a suspended bait of about between seven and eight foot. That can work here, like I said earlier. And that is pretty much going to be my fishing today. I'm going to keep it as simple as that. I don't fancy it at all here. I mean, we've got Archie here, look. Say hello, Archie. Let me wipe my mouth off. So Archie were telling me he wasn't going to set the pole up, but as you can see, he has. <laughs> <laughs> He's keeping his options open. We were telling me from the beginning he wasn't going to bother. <laughs> but he has done. So, plan of attack. I have got uh, another waggler set up for maggot, which I've plumbed up just to me right down here. I'm going to keep constantly drizzling maggots down there because it fished rock hard last week. Like I say, I think I think one fish uh, was caught where Archie's peg where he had one bite all day and Robin had three pound down there. So, it's not being on form. But you just never know. Fish, it might change, but the wind has been blowing in this direction. Like I said earlier, they don't tend to follow the wind in winter. I fancy the other bank to win this lake, to be fair. So, but we never know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So that's it's dead simple plan. Have a look around with the bomb, Juro banjo feeder, pellet waggler. That's pretty much me today. Um, let's just hope we get a few tugs and a few pulls on the float. So we shall see you during the match. Right, second cast little bite it's not it, it's not a big fish but at least it's gone round I gave it a twitch and 10 seconds later it promoted a little bite I thought I'd missed it but it was on I don't think it's a big fish it might even be a skimmer don't know it's hard to tell in winter because they're pretty lazy Serve me shock lead to go through. So we can't be too far away. But as you can see, this wind's getting up now, which is going to make it pretty difficult for a waggler. But that's with no feed whatsoever where I'm fishing. Just trying to be a bit patient. It's an F1. There you go, popped up. Just a little F1. Better than nothing, at least we're off the mark. And I've not seen, I mean, there's a guy opposite me with the wind behind. I think he's had a carp first cast. That one's about a pound and a half. Archie's not had a bite. Oh no, he's had a bite on the waggler. There's a guy on peg eight, I think it is, which did quite well last week, if you remember. He's into a carp, and I think he's had a few either skimmers or, or F1s. So I might as well leave that on, that bait, that's fine. And we'll get back out there again. It is a bit silty out there, so just give it a tug. That's just settled nicely. There we go. Just try and get that line straightened out. And we'll leave that there. And that's pretty much it. I keep firing three pellets at a time, which could be my bomb and pellet line stroke waggler line. Got my marker just out there again. I'm not pulling the catapult 100%, it's like 75% of the catty because this, if this wind gets up, I still won't be able to get there. And if I start getting liners, then I know my line's going across that, the fish could be there as well, you know. So it's, a, it's trying to cover two things if there's fish moving on those pellets and I get liners I can give it a go so it's as simple as that that match for me today this match for me today 
no point uh, making it complicated because it's going to be difficult here. You see, he's doing the best at the minute, he's doing quite well. Um, I've not seen Tom on my right hand side, I've not seen him get a, a bite just yet or any fish. And we are, how many minutes we're in? We're half an hour in, so a pound and a half. <laughs> Update soon. Well, I might as well give you the two hourly update. Archie at side of me has bumped a little tiddler off. Tom to my right has had a little skimmer. I've had a one little liner since the F1. The guy on, pe I think it's Peg 8 over there by himself. He's had, I think I've just heard him admitting to about £30 and he's just had another carp. Um, again last week that that pig produced about I think it was 48 pounds I think that won the late last week I think I've seen the guy opposite me I think he's had two or three carp not not the biggest but at least they were carp he's had them on the waggler I've tried the waggler but it just keeps coming towards me and I didn't have a bite on it it just don't feel right your lines because you're fishing mid-water it's drifting towards you all the time it's it's not ideal so i've given that up as a bad job archie's tried it on that he's packed he's packed that in himself it's just not ideal um but it's looking again as form suggested it's looking pretty grim on this side but having said that i've not seen too many fish caught in that area i've seen a few skimmers being pulled in with the pole lads but that's your lot um, I've just gone back out on the, I tried the Duro Banjo feeder and not a sign, left it 20 minutes each cast, edging towards the aerator, nothing, so I've just gone back out on the bomb with a wafter on and I'm just going to have a little search around my peg because there's just no liners, no nothing, uh, well another search around, around the peg, I'm going to come a little bit short, a little bit more to my right, nothing, absolutely nothing. I might even end up giving the maggot feeder a go just to try and catch some fish. Because I'm guessing that he's probably in our section and if he is, we could do with him keeping catching <laughs> and winning the lake, you know, the whole of Danny's, um, of Adam's lake and then you get a default section then. <laughs> so we're clutching at straws. But it's, uh, and it's cold as well now, this wind's going up, it is cold. It's uh, it's proving very difficult, which is what we thought anyway. There's a, like I said, there's a guy drew peg 17 down there, and he's just gone home. So we just knew we just knew it was going to be difficult. So not to worry. Um, we'll soldier on and just see if we can hopefully hook into a few. But I'm not holding my breath at the minute. It's going to be a short video, I think, as Archie reminded me. So we'll see you as soon as I get into something, hopefully. Now I've got me back to you, but I'm just having... There's nothing else happening. I've been having a go with the uh, waggler and maggot for half an hour. And I'm getting a perch, a chuck. But they're not very big. <laughs> I've, I've had one, actually, about six ounces. I was hoping maybe some decent skimmers might turn up or something. But I just thought I'd give you an update. Guy to me right's packed up because he's not getting out. Archie's had one carp. I've had the F1 and about a dozen perch on the waggler and maggot. And the guy on peg eight, he's onto his second net. Is it, is it a swinger? Is it a netter? Okay, well, it might be a swinger this one. Oh no, it's a netter. I didn't think it was that big. I keep getting perch, Chuck, and they are getting a bit bigger, so they're not bad. It's just there's been nothing happening for me and Archie whatsoever. I just thought, let's have a little play on the Waggler with Maggie. So I catch a few of these just to catch Archie up because he's got uh, his carp's a little bit bigger than mine. So I'll get a few of these and then I'll go over where my pellets are and see if I can hook into a carp. Because I'm hoping that that guy over there catches a few more and wins the 
wins the lake and then I think it'd be I think there'll be three of us left in this section and that'll be it then so that'll be all right oh double maggot so that's the update not really that much to report there's no point in me showing this because I've got me back to you because I have been feeding that uh, line to my right hand side so I will have me back to you all the time but that's what I'm doing for a, for a while and we're going to catch a few of these and uh, my hands are getting really cold now because this wind is bitter catch a few of these and then I'll go search for a few more carp so we'll just get this one back in It's keeping me entertained for a half an hour or so anyway, so let you know how we get on. Right then folks, it's still absolutely dire. Uh, I, don't have, I don't know, I might have had a couple of pounds of them perch. Gone back out looking for a carp, there's about half an hour left or so. Um, but it's one of those videos where not a lot of action, not a lot of footage, so not a lot we can do about it. We did fear the worst when we drew these pegs. Like I say, I think three, four pound one won it last week on in this area, on this bank. So don't think we've done too much wrong. It's just not happening because the wind has been blowing this way for quite a while now. Um, the perch like it down here though. I suppose if I stuck that out all day for perch, I suppose I could end up with ten pound. But it's freezing on your hands. I'm picking perch up every two minutes. We need some carp to do any good as well, so I've had a bit of fun catching a few perch. Only the one F1. I think me and uh, Archie are about very similar in weight. His, his carp were a bit bigger than mine. Um, but this guy on the left hand side here, he's still catching, he's just had another carp. He's been doing all right. And again, it's not a favoured peg that, but last week it, it won this part of the lake and it's going to do it again this week so I don't know who it is that's fishing there but well done son because he stuck it out he's fishing at 13 meters he's done a mighty job mighty so let's just hope I get a pull let's hope for another carp and hope that he wins the lake the whole lake this one little Adams and big Adams and then with a chance of a default section between us three I don't know what he's had, but he's in our section. That's where we stand at the minute. Right, over and out. Hopefully, update when I hook into one. people it is a few days later um before i've done this so i'm gonna have to try and remember what actually went off um as you saw wind in my face again it was a bloody cold day me and archie were a, a little bit uh, chilled to say the least um that area as suspected we weren't expecting great things from there because nothing's happened for weeks in that particular area even though i know that it can be a good area especially in summer but for some reason little adams is just not performing like it it can do there's the odd peg that's producing one or two fish and that's exactly how it's turned out i mean the week before uh, peg 33 produced 25 pound he beat me in my section i was sitting there and peg 8 won the lake i got it wrong it was peg 8 the week before that uh, coming with about 48 pounds or something like that the same peg, he's fished it a little bit different. I know he was catching on pellet waggler the week before. He's, I think he was fishing at about 13 metres and I've got it here. His name was Le Leon Hardwick. 
he was on peg eight, he's fished about 13 meters, don't know what bait he was using, I'm assuming it's either gonna be maggot soft pellet, um, maybe a small hard pellet, or corn, something like that. I saw him tapping little bits of micros or maggots in whichever, and he stuck with that most of the day, I think he had a little, a little go on the bomb, but he's got the majority of his fish, pretty much from the office started, uh, on long pole. We had the wind in his face, as you saw, I had a little search about casting towards the aerator, or aerator, or whatever you want to call it. Move towards it, move to the right a bit, move left. I only had one fish from there. I had, no, I think I had one liner, maybe, maybe two liners all day. Um, Archie had one carp that was bigger than mine. I'm not sure if it was a carp or an F1. My little F1 was about a pound and a half. I had kept firing some maggots to my right hand side to the Aussie other platform in about six foot of water. And I did have a go on that with the waggler. And as you saw, I didn't stay on it for very long. I had quite a few perch from there. I thought I'd had a couple of pound of perch. And the guy to my right, he didn't even fish the peg. And then Tom a bit further down, he stuck a couple of hours out and he'd had, I think he'd had a, a skimmer or something like that. It just wasn't fishing. And the guy on the Tom bank, I think he was in our section, he didn't weigh in. So that left, basically, me and Archie and the guy on peg eight. So I was hoping that this guy on peg eight would keep catching and actually get a first, second or third, which would create a default section win. Well, as it turned out, Ireland's fished okay on certain pegs. They have moved a little bit from the week before. Um, 95 pounds won it from Peggy 11, which again is a, an area that can, can produce in winter. It's, it's been off for a few weeks, but it's come back again this week. And uh, Neil Stones had 95 pounds from there. Uh, so well done, Neil Stones. What a mighty fisherman you are on the win for the day. So we had one qualifier from there. I'm assuming Neil must have qualified because Owen Taylor on Peg 6 on Ireland with 75 pounds is your first qualifier there was another 75 pound i think he's, he's qualified by two ounce there he's beat um sam broomhead by two ounces sam had 75 pound one ounce so well done sam so well done owen for qualifying and the qualifier on adams including big Adams and little adams is peg eight but unfortunately that weight of where are we? Let me have a quick look here. With 51 pounds, wasn't enough to get in the first, second or third. So he's one hour section and he's qualified. So what a mighty fisherman you are there. Um, I forgot his name, Leon. Leon Hardwick, well done Leon on the qualification. And it looks like I've come second in section with five pounds 12. I actually had a couple of pound of perch. That was perch actually in, in that half an hour. And four pounds, just over four pounds, so. Something worth thinking about if you draw a bad area like that, because the other section wins has been eleven pound uh, on our little little Adams. It's been like eleven pounds and seventeen pounds. So I could have caught more than that just catching those perch, because there were a lot of them there. But you do think that you need. You tend to think on these lakes you do need cap, and most of the time you do. But for a section win, when it's fishing poor, it could be worth targeting that. So whether I do it with a waggler or whether I do it with a pole and a long lash on the pole, I don't know. But it's it's worth it's something worth thinking about if I'm in a bad area and I think there's absolutely zero chance of qualifying. So still enjoyed it. Had a bit of a laugh with uh, Archie. Um, like I say, I was completely surprised that I'd actually got five pound twelve. I thought I got about three and a half pound, but those perch weigh quite a bit more than you think. So a few things learnt there. Um, one main thing is, I don't want to draw that area again. <laughs> it's fishing tough. You watch me my luck, all the fish will turn up and be, be that side of the lake next time round. But you just, wherever you get drawn, you've just to fish your best. So, thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, it's all experience in the bag. It, it's more knowledge about the lakes that, that's in the bank for future matches. And hopefully I can draw a decent area and try and qualify for the cap uh, uh, final, which would be fantastic. That's supposed to be in March. But with the way things are with COVID, just don't know yet. We'll just have to play it by ear, as they say. So, fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed. It's a short video because there wasn't a lot of action. We've basically just been trying to keep warm and just trying to keep one or two fish coming. About you've had to have 20 minute, half an hour casts this time of year. That's that's how you play it. Um, so it's been tough for most people and quite uh, quite good for a few people. Some decent weights out there for winter fishing. 
so i hope you still enjoyed this little video i must say steve clegg what a champion mate i mean he's had a decent day as well what did he he's won his section i think he's about 60 odd pounds i can't remember exactly what it was but steve clegg cracking organization i've got i've got to say it's with all those people there's between 40 and 60 people turn up every week so i've got to give it a mention i probably won't mention it every week steve but everybody appreciates all the work that you do. I know you get a bit frustrated when you're late to your peg and stuff and if you're a bit hungover, you can have mum come. <laughs> but listen, mate, we really appreciate it. It's a big job. It, it, it organises all the pegging, does the draw, and it does all the weighing. So what a champion. That's all I've got to say, mate. So well done, son. So people, if you do enjoy my videos, don't forget. It's absolutely free to subscribe. Click the notification bell. And you will get all our videos as we upload them. I will be on the bank in the Carpa next week. So I'll be looking forward to that. That's if we're open. I'm pretty sure it should be. But you never know. There's quite a few areas going into Tier 4. We shall see you next week. So thanks for watching. Until then, fish on guys. And we shall see you pretty soon. GoPro, stop recording. Even when I try and say it's serious, it doesn't work, does it? So I'm just going to turn you off. Ta-ta for now.